Uh, Monica Lamb uh, is going to come up and introduce and show uh, the video, some of the video we did around this that was broadcast nationally. So, Monica, you want to come up now, please? Hi, I'm Monica Lamb. I'm a video producer with the Center for Investigative Reporting. And um, I produced and shot and edited a piece for, the, for PBS NewsHour um, based on the reporting of Andrew and GW. Um, transforming a story like this into a big investigation like this into a broadcast television piece is primarily a task of selection. Um, after Andy and GW have gathered all the information, the documents, um, the data, find the sources and get the big picture, uh, the TV team steps in and we kind of um, look for nuggets that we think will hang together and tell a story. And primarily what we're looking for is characters. Uh, characters who can put a face on the story, characters who are colorful, and whose story is representative of the whole. Um, in this piece, we decide to lead with a man named Brad Kleinerman, uh, partly because he's very all-American, and you'll see. Um, and then we decide in the piece to complicate it a little bit by bringing in um, our second major character, who's um, a Pakistani-American. And um, his case allowed us to kind of bring in issues of potential racial profiling and potential erosion of civil, civil liberties. Um, in broad strokes, the difference between doing a print piece and a television piece is you lose a lot of detail, you lose a lot of numbers, um, but in exchange you get a voice, you get a, a real person, um, uh, you get emotion from them and a sense of, of really seeing real people that hopefully you can relate to. Uh, in the piece that you're about to see, um, which uh, the, the correspondent, the person who kind of goes on camera and asks the questions is Daniel Zordling. He's a reporter for NPR. But really, he represents the work of the whole reporting team. So he, he's a face on camera, but they're behind it. 